open interior cranial fossa view. On this model, you'll see cranial nerve number one associated with smell. That's going to send its projections out and then form two bulbs here, which are sitting overlying the cribriform plate. So if we move to this over here, you'll be able to see the cribriform plate here. When it gets to the cribriform plate, it drops down its tiny little projections of olfactory nerves, and these go to supply the top part of the nose. So I'm just going to turn that around, and they're going to supply right up in there, the very top part of the nose, cribriform plate. So that's for smell. So if you look at the slide, there we are, this is my olfactory nerve coming down, cribriform plate drops down the fibres into the very top part of the nose, and that's where we're taking smell, filaments of the olfactory nerve one. So in the exam, people always ask, what's this here? Okay, this is the olfactory tract, olfactory tract. This here is the olfactory bulb. This is above the cribriform plate. The actual olfactory nerve, the nerve proper, are these tiny little projections of fibres hanging through these tiny holes of the cribriform plate. They're the actual nerves, okay? So we've got tracks, which are like big motorways, a bulb, and then the actual nerves.